Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick card using a stamp set from the Hedgehog Hollow January box. This is called To the Moon and Back. And this is the first time that I am using this stamp set. <clears throat> so I've gone ahead and mounted it into my um, stamping tool, my Misty stamping tool. And I'm going to be doing some rainbow stamping. So as you watch me do the rainbow stamping, I'm going to put out a little disclosure. I've been a little sick the past week, so I apologize if I clear my throat quite a bit because it has been very sore and very raw. <laughs> but I wanted to get this video up because it's been quite some time since I have posted a video. And also, this is my last post for the Hedgehog Hollow design team. Um, to be officially on their design team. I may do some guest designs uh, later in the year, but I have gone ahead and um, removed myself from the team because of me starting school and such um, and, and working part-time. I just felt that it was a little bit too much to keep up with, and I really want to concentrate hard on um, my college courses that I am taking, particularly math. <laughs> Math is no way my strong suit, so I'm going to have to try extra, extra hard to get through that class. So, <clears throat> back to the card. I, like I mentioned before, I'm doing some rainbow stamping, and I thought I would go ahead and take out my Memento Dewdrop inks to do this because they are small. And I also did not want, I wanted a dye ink. And although I have distress inks in the cubes, I did not want uh, to use my distress inks simply because um, I'm going to be embossing over this and I did not want to um, hassle with the since the distress inks stay a little bit wetter longer I did not want to hassle with all that um, with embossing and I know that I could take my heat tool and uh, you know apply it over the cardstock and kind of heat set it quickly but I am was li very limited on time while I was making this card. <laughs> no surprise. So <clears throat> I am quickly making this card. But um, I am so happy uh, and thrilled how it turned out. Um, I know right now it kind of looks like a hot mess. Especially towards the um, uh, latter half of the stamping here. But... Uh, for two reasons, I did not really press down all that well in those areas. Two, uh, the stamp, <clears throat> excuse me, the stamp was obviously brand new that I had never used it before. And there was a bubble that I noticed um, after the fact too. So that kind of prevented me from stamping all that well. So those three factors kind of prevented me from stamping as clear as I pro probably could have gotten it. But um, that's okay. It worked out in the end. I'm just um, going to emboss my sentiment as you can see over it anyway. So I have gone ahead, finished my stamping, and then I am now going to emboss my sentiment, which is says, I love you to the moon and back. I love this. I love these. Anytime I have a big, bold sentiment like this that can cover a card front, I absolutely love that. Because for one, if you've been watching my channel at any period of time, you all know that I absolutely love sentiments. It's one of my favorite things about card making. And it's essential, I feel. <clears throat> and two, I just love how, you know, those sentiments that I love can fill up a card card front. And, you know, be prominent on the card. So I am going to be embossing this with the gold embossing powder. This, this particular embossing powder is from Simon Says Stamp. And it is one of my favorite uh, gold embossing powders. I've got a couple of different shades, I guess. So I, I love, and then, you know, it really embosses well. So I'm kind of trying to prevent warping by kind of heating it in little spurts, as you can see there. And I will, once I am done, you will see how beautiful and very shiny and sheeny <laughs> this is. So I just love that. <clears throat> so next I'm going to cut this little piece down using a stitched rectangle die from My Favorite Things. And you can see how perfect that frames that out. Next, I'm going to create my background for on my card base. And I have this um, big washi, roll of washi tape. This is from Altenew. I believe this is the, I've got two of them. I believe this is the Nebulous. I believe it's called Nebulous. I will have all the supplies linked below 
uh, if you're interested in knowing what I am using in today's card. But I wanted to show you a trick on how to apply these big washi tapes to a card front. And I have to give all the credit to my fellow friend and card maker, Lori Willison. I am pretty sure she did a video on this, but for when I saw it, um, it was actually, a, um, it'll be, you know, over two years uh, come, come September. But I had the pleasure of meeting her at a, a card, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a crafting retreat back in Kansas in September of 2018. And this is whenever those washi tapes, I believe, came out initially. And so she showed us this trick uh, on how easy it is to apply this washi. She made it, made, she actually made it look a little easier than what I am doing even here. But just basically the whole point of it is to take your washi and use your bone folder and just kind of use pressure and any bubbles you can kind of, you know, easily um, press down with with your bone folder but this kind of helps you to get it really even onto your card base that you're applying and it is you know makes it super simple and you don't really have to fuss with it too much so I thought it would be cool to since I have this big old sentiment that says I love you to the moon and back and I love the fact that anytime that I do any type of rainbow stamping I love to incorporate some type of black somewhere whether it be a, a black card mat or my card base itself but I just thought it would be really cool to use this washi tape for something different because obviously it's you know kind of like a galaxy background and it kind of ties in with the theme a little bit so just for something different I did cut that down also with the same set of stitched rectangle dies from my favorite things and so I've got two nice frames for my card and I've also applied some foam adhesive on the back of my stamped panel and it really does frame it out really nicely. So you can kind of see a little bit of that galaxy-esque <laughs> looking pattern. Kind of peeking uh, around the whole entire uh, stamp sentiment panel there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I, just, I just think it you know ties it all together really, really nicely. And of course using some foam adhesive to uh, pop up that uh, first panel there gives it dimension and an overall easy um, looking design it really does I help I love it whenever I can add dimension to those types of cards to finish up my card I'm going to add a little bit of bling here and this is the first time I'm actually using this and this is the oh I forgot the actual name of it but it's like fairy dust or something like that um, sparkle dust something like that from um, Blonde Fawn and I just added some water to it and um, and just now I'm, I'm just kind of spattering that all over my background and it is really beautiful I'm going to hold up my card here in just a moment to show you all the sparkle and shine of this but it really does add it add to the whole entire theme of the card and it really does look like little stars are twinkling all over the card I just I'm glad that I decided to do this I'm kind of last minute so once I have all of the splatter <laughs> to my liking on this card that completes my card for today guys thank you all so much for watching today i truly appreciate it i miss you all so so much i'm hoping to do more videos pretty soon in the future and but thank you all so much for being so patient with me as i'm trying to incorporate more videos in the future thank you all so much for watching happy new year and i will catch you on the next video Thank you.